You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Water Cooler Edit with my beaut, with myself, Chris, and Rich. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm all right, Rich. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you, Chris. Enjoying the weather, which is uh, gradually getting, well, not even gradually, it's getting hotter and hotter, isn't you it? You didn't put any quotation marks of enjoying the weather because I can assure you we've been filming quite a bit recently in various locations and even at 7 a.m. you start pretty much boiling by about 9. You start sweating profusely and you know me, I'm always decked out in black because I don't wear mm. any other colours except for my watch and the heat really gets to you sometimes. Well, it does, yeah, because you're basically a beacon for the sun. It's just that you're attracting it. You That's know? true. People around you are very grateful because they're getting none of it. It's all going to you, do you know what I mean? It's like you're... You're like a star. That's, that, that's one way to put it. I don't think anyone's referred to me as a star before, but you know what? I'll take it. And you know what? I'm going to put it on my LinkedIn profile as well. Rich once called me a star. This time, we're going to look at the sales side of things. Now, this is quite interesting because we obviously know over the past couple of months, we've had some huge events happen here in the United States, including the Expo 2020, which has drawn in a lot of attention when it comes to basically snapping up property. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also current affairs that are happening around the world as well, which has also caused quite an influx to happen too. Uh, so it's probably safe to say that the sales side of things is booming. Yeah, things are booming out there. So uh, the Dubai Land Department announced record-breaking uh, statistics for the first quarter of 2022. So you've got 13,608 sales transactions recorded during that period with a total value of 30.62 billion dirhams, which is a tasty amount of money. And when you think about that, that's only for Dubai as well. Then the mm -hmm. other six Emirates to factor in. And I know Absolutely. Russell Hamer is very popular as well. But here we're going to be discussing Dubai only. And as we did last time, let's play a little game. Because we're going to start off with luxury villas in popular neighborhoods here. So mm -hmm. you have a choice of five, okay? But I only want one from you, and that's it. So I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you. I'm going to give you all five here. So we've got Arabian Ranches, Dubai Hills Estate, Palm Jumeirah, Arabian Ranches 2, and the villa. Now, of the top five, mm -hmm. which one do you think tops our table here? Firstly, I was going to retire from this game after the last time because I actually did quite well. And I think I can only go downhill from here. But I'm going to give it a go. So what was the most popular of those areas in the first quarter of 2022? Wow, this is tough. It's tough. It's tough. I'm going to go Dubai Hills Estate was one, wasn't it? You said yes, Dubai. it was yeah, one. So I'm going to go Dubai Hills Estate. Drum roll, please. You are close, but no banana. Mm. Because Dubai Hills Estate actually comes in second, uh, according yeah, to... I'm not, our, yeah, it's pretty our, close. It's pretty close. Uh, which is an impressive number, no doubt. But it is Arabian Ranches that uh, has proved popular. Now, Arabian Ranches is probably out of the five that we have, or we mentioned, actually, is probably one of the oldest establishments where you can get luxury villas here. Because Arabian Ranches, mm -hmm. it seems like it's been around since forever. I think it actually was one of the first... Um, luxury accommodations that opened up all those years ago when they announced that you could buy property here. Yeah. And it's still incredible to see after so many years that it is still immensely popular. I mean, we're looking at four to five to six bedroom houses in there, ranging from 4.5 for a four bedroom all the way up to 11.4 million dirhams for a six bedroom in there. It sounds expensive, but amazingly enough, it is not the most expensive on the list. No, it's certainly not the most expensive. I think with Arabian Ranches as well, just to say, it, it retains its popularity consistently. And I think that's because they've modernised the community as the years have gone by. So I don't think it's dated particularly. And it's it's got everything there, isn't it? You could almost live, if you wanted to, to never go out of Arabian Ranches. You have everything you need to live a very healthy lifestyle there. So I think that's why one of the reasons it retains its popularity. Also, the return on investment, you can get a 5.83% return on investment. It's not too shoddy. So, but yes, the most expensive of the top five, Yowzers. The Palm Jumeirah. No surprise, to be honest. I mean, you're essentially living in the ocean. <laughs> you are, yeah. There's worse places to live. Yeah. Uh, not least, under. Exactly. But, you know, you know, uh, but I'm pretty sure that does exist somewhere here. I'm <laughs> quite sure I've seen it. But at least in the Palm Jumeirah, you live literally on the beach. I mean, you get fantastic views. The villas there are just absolutely breathtaking. 
I just go down there to look at cars most of the time. But uh, I've got a friend who does live down there, and I've got to say he has a fingerprint scanner to get in and out of his door. He doesn't have a traditional lock and key. He really? has a fingerprint scanner, yeah, which is pretty cool when you think about it. It is pretty cool. That's a bit of a stretch away from uh, my one-bedroom apartment in DIP. But look, I mean, the Palm is epic, isn't it? And, and let's be honest, the prices are quite epic as well. That is true. Uh, you're looking at, for a four-bed, 16.752 million dirhams. For a six beds, this is a whopper. Now look, these are seriously nice properties. Let's get, you know, there's no getting away from it. I mean, epic luxury is what we're talking. But fifty point four nine one million dirhams average for six beds on the palm. I won't buy one this year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'm almost there. I'm gonna come and install your fingerprint lock for you because <laughs> one of my hidden talents is uh, locksmith. <laughs> Um, and then that way I know how to I know where you live and then I can come to your house and then I can you know I'll put my own fingerprint in there come and you can have a room you yeah, have your room you like a man cave in there do you need do you, are you sure you need all those six bedrooms because I mean like, I mean we could the, we could the have cost a, of it I might have to start having people paying to stay in those bedrooms we could have a joint game room I could put my Xbox collection in I've just hit the the lamp over here so I'm gonna do that again uh, we could have a joint game room we you could put your switch stuff in there I could put my Xbox stuff in there I'm guaranteed together we've got more than enough stuff to put we, in the room. We, we've got enough stuff for the ultimate man cave let's be honest let's do it yeah so, geek chic, geek chic. <laughs> so as I said, we're looking at the luxury apartments now for sale as well, according to the market report from Q1 for 2022. Uh, and of course, there looks to be a little bit of a crossover here because we've got both the Palm Jumeirah and Dubai Hills Estate appearing on the list, with Dubai Hills Estate being probably one of the more prominent bits there because it's one of the newer areas in Dubai to live in. But the other three don't come as much as a surprise to me. You've got the always epic Dubai Marina, which to me feels like everyone wants to live there and pretty much most of the time everyone does live there. Uh, you've got JBR, again, is a place that has a lot of amenities. You've got the beach right there. And again, it feels like just everybody lives there and they have everything. It's like your own little world in there. So our fifth and final one there is downtown Dubai. And Rich, if we look out the window right now, not just because it's an easy commute to the office, but I think there's one, maybe two reasons that you'd want to live in downtown Dubai. One or two very big reasons why you'd want to live in uh, downtown Dubai. Obviously, the uh, we're looking at it right now, the Burj Khalifa. Yowzers. Let's be honest, like downtown Dubai is pretty exclusive address. It's got everything. It appeals to a huge, wide variety of people. It's not too shoddy. Let's say that. It's not too shoddy. It's uh, beautiful skyscrapers. Dubai Mall right on your doorstep. Fountains everywhere. What more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> and it's in close proximity to everything. Again, it's kind of like a micro city. So there's plenty of things to do and see around downtown Dubai, of course. Now let's move on to the affordable villas to purchase here in Dubai. We'll move on now to affordable villas to buy in the United Arab Emirates, but better yet in the Emirates of Dubai, because again, we have five areas to live. But of course, we have some newcomers here, Damak Hills and Damak Hills 2, which is Akoya by Damak. It looks like they've been, that's kind of been renamed. It has uh, indeed. Recently. The, the artist formerly known as Akoya by Damak. Akoya was one of those places that was really far away like it seemed like it was the middle of nowhere mm. but now over the past couple of years since it's been built it's become a community there are so many things there now i mean you've got supermarkets schools um it doesn't feel like it's in the middle of nowhere anymore i think that's in- the thing i think it's become far more accessible for example i have some friends who live i was going to say akoya but it's not it's uh it's the mac hills too um i have some friends who live there when we first They moved in quite early after the development opened Um, and there wasn't that many people there really. It was a bit of a a barren wasteland. Now you've got, when you go there, so many of the villas, you barely see any empty villas now. It's very populated. Um, There's a reason for that, right? The properties are good. The amenities are good. The facilities are good. Families can move there and it's it's relatively affordable. I think because Dubai is getting bigger, Places that seemed like they were out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the desert, are becoming, and the road connections have obviously become so much better, that those places are not as far away as they used to be, if you see what I mean. So in our top five in our sales market report for Q1 2022, uh, it looks like the best return of investment you'll get, or ROI, would be in Damak Hills, and that's 6.92% rich. Now, let's Mm -hmm. quickly move on now to apartments, affordable apartments to buy, according to our report. Now, Let's bring that game back, but let's change it up a little bit here. I'm only going to give you two 
of the five. One of them is going to be the top, and one of them, it may be number five, or it may be number three. I'm not going to tell you. Your two options are JVC, that's Jumeirah Village Circle, mm-hmm. or DSO, which is Dubai Silicon Oasis. Which of the two do you think was a top hour market report for affordable apartments in Q1 and 2022 to buy? Let's have a think about this. Now, look, I know Silicon Oasis is popular and pretty consistently popular, actually, it has to be said. However, in recent years, the interest in JVC, I, from the limited amount of prior knowledge I have, I know it's kind of rocketed. So, Chris, I'm going to go with my final answer is going to be JVC. And you would be absolutely, and we have the drum roll again, correct this time. So you're on... That's it, I'm retiring. I'm done with this game now. I'm, I'm never going to... I've peaked. I've peaked. So if we remember from last time, I think you got them both correct, right? Mm. Uh, this time you've only got one correct. So I your, know, I've been upset ever since. Your percentage since is 75%. Uh, so got to improve that. Um, unless we remove the other I should, one. I should be nailing 100%, really, shouldn't I? But we, but, but we won't. No, let's just go with 75% is good. Three out of four. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. So JVC, of course, is the most popular with an ROI of 6.94%. In terms of ROI, JVC is not the highest. It is actually Dubai Sports City, which is across the road from it. Mm. Now, Dubai Sports City is another one of these areas that's been around for a long time, and they've really developed it over the past couple of years. I mean, they've got a cricket stadium that's always jam-packed when we have events that happen here. Um there's a lot of buildings that cop up, a lot of amenities. There's even uh, gyms nearby as well as schools and everything like that. So yep. that's really come into its own as well. It's kind of grown as an area, hasn't it? It's kind of, uh, it's evolved. It's exactly. Evolved. And it seems to sit just above DSO in terms of uh, how much it is to buy a studio there because Silicon Oasis is 321,000, where Dubai Sports City is 328,000 for a studio apartment there. Those two are kind of similarly priced when it comes to our report here. And you can kind of put the two side by side. They both are offer uh, apartments available they both have similar facilities they're both very close to uh, the main road as well and in close proximity to the two kind of areas of the city that are most popular you've got silicon oasis kind of old dubai side when you've got dubai sports city which is the new dubai side isn't it and they both kind of in relation to if you want to get to either those two areas you can just get in your car and drive across yeah, I mean, I think the correlation we see in prices between the two areas is not a surprise, considering we know how close they are to each other, the amenities and facilities that they share, the access, the road access that they share, and the prices. I mean, look, so for, as we've said, for a studio in Dubai Sports City, you're looking at an average of 328,000 dirhams. Uh, for a one bed, 492,000 dirhams. And for a two bed in Dubai Sports City, you can be, you'll be looking at an average of 732,000 dirhams. That's competitive. And to say the least, really, I mean, it's um, potential return on investment of almost 8%. You can see why people are, are interested and are getting involved in that. It's not a surprise, right? That was a brief overview of our Dubai sales report for Q1 2022. Rich, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, if you want to read and get more insights, we've got some great price comparison as well. You can read all about it on the MyBeat blog. Just look up Dubai sales report for Q1 2022. Now, Rich, are you excited? I very rarely get excited, but uh, I, I, I could potentially be excited. So there's something big happening with Beat and Dubizzle in terms of property. I think I might have an inkling of what you're talking about. I think you do too. And that wraps up this episode of the Water Cool Edit. As I said, Rich, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And we'll speak soon. You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich.